Welcome to the very first video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. We're going to make a brand new character over here. It's going to be a uh, human, female, rogue, and uh, it's going to be self-found also. This is going to be somewhat of a challenge run. We're going to play on self-found. That's one thing. Uh, the second thing is we're also going to play on uh, no grouping. So no group quests is allowed. No dungeons is allowed. Um, we're just going to play the game from level 1 to 60, hopefully, if the series does well. Obviously, we'll continue on with it. And uh, our character actually looks fine, just as is. Let's PL mas let PL master. Characters created. Self found icon. So this is going to be a challenge run, if you guys don't know. So, obviously we can't use the auction house. Everything that we, that we do is going to be self-found. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the series. If you do, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. Stormwind are a proud, tenacious race. Though the recent invasion of the demonic Burning Legion decimated their sister kingdom of Lordaeron, the defenders of Stormwind stand vigilant against any who would threaten the sanctity of their lands. Nestled in the foothills of Elwyn Forest, Stormwind City is one of the last bastions of human power in the world. Ruled by the child king Anduin Rin, the people of Stormwind remain steadfast in their commitment to the Grand Alliance. Backed by their stalwart allies, the armies of Stormwind have been called away to fight the savage horde on distant battlefields. With the armies gone, the defense of Stormwind now falls to its proud citizens. You must defend the kingdom against the foul mongrels that encroach upon it and hunt down the subversive traitors who seek to destroy it from within. Now is the time for heroes. Now humanity's greatest chapter can be told. Okay, Whew. let me set up everything. Give me a second. Okay, everything seems to be set up. So let's do this. I hope you strapped your belt on tight, young adventurer. Because there is work to do here in Northshire, and I don't mean farming. The storm wind guards are hard pressed to keep the peace here, with so many of us in distant lands and so many threats pressing close. And so we're enlisting the aid of anyone willing to defend their home and their alliance. If you're here to answer the call, then speak with my superior, Marshal McBride. He's inside the abbey behind me. Ah, uh, good, another volunteer? We're getting a lot of you these days. I hope it's enough. The human lands are threatened from without, and so many of our forces have been marshaled abroad. This, in turn, leaves room for corrupt and lawless groups to thrive within our borders. It is a many-fronted battle we wage, adventurer. Gird yourself for a long campaign. Your first task is one of cleansing, adventurer. A clan of kobolds have infested the woods to the north. Go there and fight the kobold vermin you find. Reduce their numbers so that we may one day drive them from Northshire. Egan Pelt Skinner is looking for someone to hunt wolves for him. That's good news because we're seeing a lot more wolves in Northshire Valley lately. If you're interested, then speak with Egan. He's around the side of the abbey to the left. That's true. I'm looking for someone to hunt me some wolves. Are you that person? I hate those nasty timber wolves, but I sure like eating wolf steaks. Bring me tough wolf meat and I will exchange it for something you'll find useful. Tough wolf meat is gathered from hunting the timber wolves and young wolves wandering the Northshire countryside. This is going to be a challenge, bro. Like, I can just see that. Uh, because the, the... Okay, so there's multiple reasons. So reason number one is rogues and warriors. I feel like it's the biggest class when it comes to power through their weapons, right? 
Now, what if you are not allowed to do dungeons? Where does your power come from? Well, that's the tricky question. Because we're just going to be weak the whole time, so it's going to be very challenging. But we'll only obviously continue on with the series if it does well. That is going to be the honest truth. So, just keep in mind that you leaving likes, you watching the whole series from beginning to end is going to push the series up in my in my to-do list, obviously, and they will continue on with the series. So I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day watching the channel. I really appreciate that. Uh, also, something else is we are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. It really does make a difference. At 1,000 subscribers, we can get finally AdSense enabled. Which means, at the very least, we can start playing World of Warcraft for free, right? I don't think I'll make that much money. <laughs> But at least that can, be, uh, can become a thing. World of Warcraft can pay for itself, if that makes sense. We just got new panties, so we got our first item. But the first items I wanted is just... In all honesty... It's just a... Uh, a bag. As someone said, another another thing you can do is, you know, all this challenge that I'm doing, plus if you're a hunter, do only melee. That also doesn't sound too bad to me, to be honest. That sounds like something I can do for sure. Then you can just, just add an additional challenge on top of it. Or if you play Warlock, no void is allowed, which is your, your tank, your tank pit. But I'm like, you you know what, dude, like this is this is challenging enough for any melee class, especially a warrior or a rogue. And uh then someone said in the chat, uh, you don't have it in you to play a rogue with this challenge. So I was like, okay, well. What is this thing we're getting? We have eight bag slots available still. Got a red shiny apple, okay. And we're level three. Hello, you've been busy. I can't wait to cook up that wolf meat. I have some things here you might want. Take your pick. I supply only the finest goods. Light bless you. No, no, light bless you, baby. If you sneeze. Hey, citizen, you look like a stout one. We guards are spread a little thin out here, and I could use your help. Well done, citizen. Those kobolds are thieves and cowards, but in large numbers, they pose a threat to us. And the humans of Stormwind do not need another threat. For defeating them, you have my gratitude. 
Adventurer, my scouts tell me that the kobold infestation is larger than we had thought. A group of kobold workers has camped near the Echo Ridge Mine to the north. Go to the mine and remove them. We know there are at least ten. Kill them, see if there are more, then report back to me. I was asked to bring this to your attention as soon as you returned from the kobold camps, adventurer. It appears to be a letter sealed with the insignia of Jorik, one of our local trainers. I wouldn't hesitate to read it before you go about any other business here in the Abbey. I don't think that's needed. You just point me in the direction I'll go there, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Wolf, give me a bag somehow. Got a new back, but I want a new bag. Another back. <laughs> it's gonna be very, uh, very hard to make money on this character. I, I'm pretty sure. Looks like we're gonna grind for experience afterwards anyway. And if you're wondering what class or, or sorry, what talents we're gonna take, we most probably will play um, combat. I, I, I think combat is the better one to go for because of this arm. I think this arm is mandatory. In a run like this. And I keep grinding experience. I don't think it's worth. I don't think we should use uh, ev Eviscerate. Like it just doesn't do enough damage. At three um, combo points already. We should just spam Sinister Strike. That's what it looks like. Okay, maybe not. If this array does 8 damage, we're 3 comma points, uh, sorry, Sinister Strike does 8 damage, we're 3 comma points, if this array does 18, so it does make sense, assuming they cost the same amount of energy to cost, if this array actually takes less. Hey there. Be careful. Need help? I don't like hearing of all these kobolds in our mind. No good can come of this. Here, take this as payment, and when you're ready, speak to me again. I would like you to go back to the mines one more time. Your previous investigations are proof that the Echo Ridge mine needs purging. Return to the mine and help clear it of kobolds. Waste no time, adventurer. The longer the kobolds are left unmolested in the mine, the deeper a foothold they gain in Northshire. 
Recently, a new group of thieves has been hanging around Northshire. They call themselves the Defias Brotherhood and have been seen across the river to the east. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's not good. Bring me the bandanas they wear and I'll reward you with a weapon. Maybe three is just not worth it. It should be at least four. Four is just too expensive to get to. And at level 10, when you can actually get there, it's better to use um, Slice and Dice then. No bag yet. In theory, I think we'll make money easier, to be honest. Uh, because we're not going to rely on the auction house prices anymore. You know? So it will all be vendor prices. And uh, inventory management will be so much easier if that is the case. Looks like we're going to grind here until level 4. We are level 4. Got a new sword, but we can't use it yet. Well, that really sucks. So right now I'm already thinking about training swords, but obviously we need at least 10 silver. Which is a null factor right now. There's just no way we can afford it. We want to get that swords up as soon as we can, since we're playing human. Higher hit chance. Well, higher skill means higher hit chance. Um, and hit chance is everything for rogues and warriors. Okay, we actually we're leveling pretty fast.
already level four and a half. Someone just leveled up in the guild. What kind of back with some bandanas, I see. The Stormwind Army appreciates your help. You've shown yourself a dependable adventurer, adventurer. Dependable, and not afraid to get your hands dirty, eh? Eh? My friend, Millie Osworth, who's in some trouble. He's over with her wagon on the other side of the abbey near the stable. I'm sure she could use a pair of hands like yours. Garrick Padfoot, the cutthroat who's plagued our farmers and merchants for weeks, was seen at a shack near the vineyards, which lies east of the abbey and across the bridge. Bring me the villain's head and earn his bounty. But be wary, adventurer. Garrick has gathered a gang of thugs around him. He will not be an easy man to reach. Are you sure about that? I'm a rogue that goes invisible, my bruh. You wouldn't see me coming. Gotta go fast, baby. You know, the other option is instead of going leatherworking, we can go herbalism and make our own potions. Because, like, it's not just health potions that we make, right? It's it's strength, it's agility potions as well. The question is though, will you will you be collecting more agility via these potions, or is it gonna be more agility via skinning? I think that's the better question. Are we not supposed to explore? Dude, we have to kill 12 of them. Goodness. Done. We have a chest here. What's in the box? No bag. Equals not worth. I mean, any little bit of money is gonna help, dude. It costs five silver per six slot bag, so. And also, since no no grouping up for quests, um, we'll most probably we 
we'll just probably have to... I don't know, wait until like level 25 before we can get our po uh, poisons on our weapons. Maybe even longer. And there's, uh, unless there's like a gimmick to it that I don't know of. But I mean like, I, I only played Horde, right? So... I actually have no idea. <laughs> Absolutely no idea whether... It's easy or not on Alliance. Or what even the quest is on Alliance. Well met. Once again, you have earned my respect and the gratitude of the Stormwind Army. There may yet be kobolds in the mine, but I will marshal others against them. We have further tasks for you. Adventurer, you are an adventurer with proven interest in the security of Northshire. You are now tasked with the protection of the surrounding Elwyn Forest. If you accept this duty, then I have prepared papers that must be delivered to Marshal Dugan in Goldshire. Goldshire lies along the southern road, past the border gates. Deputy Willem told you to speak with me? He's a brave man, and always willing to help, but his duties keep him stuck at Northshire Abbey, and I'm afraid the problem I have today is beyond him. Perhaps you can help me? A gang of brigands, the Defias, moved into the Northshire vineyards while I was harvesting. I reported it to the Northshire guards, and they assured me they'd take care of things. But I'm afraid for my crop of grapes. If the Defias don't steal them, then I fear our guards will trample them when they chase away the thugs. Please, you must help me! I gathered most of my grapes into buckets, but I left them in the vineyards to the southeast. Bring me those crates. Save my harvest. You're gonna find a number of outfits that covet our skills, adventurer. Adventurers, SI-7, heck. Even the Defias Brotherhood wouldn't mind a spy or two inside Stormwind. But you remember this. You're your own woman. Don't let nobody bully you into doing something you don't want to do. Besides, we hold all the cards. At least, we do before the game's done. Know what I mean? Anyway, just wanted to introduce myself and let you know that I'm here if you need any training. Come by anytime. Come by anytime. The more grinding we do now... Oh, we only have two back slots available, dude. This dude spawns so fast, you need to pull him back a bit. There we go. Cut off his head, bro. But yeah, the more grinding we do now, the less grinding we have to do later. Stabby, stabby. Let me guess, you're gonna pull? Can't you see I'm busy stealing from you, eh? Can you chill? Well, I mean, that's why she's attacking me.
Let me guess. <laughs> Dude, these crit numbers already is crazy. I think uh, we need those shoes. It's not an upgrade. Actually, it is. I have a level 26 rogue if you need to find people to do it. They want to do the Red Ridge uh, elites. That's something we won't do on this character. I mean, we could invis our way th most probably through it. Dude, we crit 46 already. Oh, oh, oh there, man. Look at my big PP. Look at the big PP. You know, my... My hunter is level... Level 20 at the moment. Like, we just reached level 20. And... I still didn't do a crit higher than 100. And I'm full green, by the way. All items green. How are Ha! You caught him! You've done Elwyn a great service and earned a nice bounty. What can I do for you? It's weird that it's telling me to do a quest, and it's like, okay, we're not going to hand it in. Because the guide is telling me now to run out. But there's a hand in quest right here. With eight items in my inventory. Good day. Oh, thank you, adventurer. You saved my harvest. And I hope you showed a few of those defias that they can't cause trouble around here. We might be short on guards these days, but we're lucky to have heroes like you to protect us. Now that my crop is saved, take this great manifest to Brother Niels. He manages the store of food and drink in Northshire, and I'm sure he'll be delighted to hear that he has fresh grapes. You'll find Brother Niels in the Abbey, in the Bell Tower, where he likes to taste his wine. Something else is also accepting quests. Exhaustion sets in, and there is no finer place to get rest and relaxation than at the Lion's Pride Inn. My best friend, Innkeeper Farley, runs the Lion's Pride. If you tell him I sent you, he may give you the special discounted rates on food and drink. To find the Lion's Pride Inn, travel south along the road from here. You can't miss it. There's something else also accepting quests. That's why we have... Well, with our hunter, we have so many quests. Like, our quest log is full, but... We just don't have enough hand-ins. Like, I don't know how to explain it. We accept more quests than what we do. Is the bottom line of what I, I want to make. Greetings. 
Well, it says here that you've been awarded acting deputy status with the Stormwind Marshals. Congratulations. And good luck. Keeping Elwyn safe is no picnic. What with most the army busy doing who knows what, for who knows which noble. It's hard to keep track of politics in these dark days. The mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that the Fargo Deep mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to me. The mine is almost due south of Goldshire, between the Stonefield and McClure homesteads. Welcome to my inn, weary traveler. What can I do for you? Rest and relaxation for the tired and cold, that's our motto. Please, take a seat by the fire and rest your weary bones. Would you like to try a sampling of some of our fine food and drink? Hello, my lady. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the Elwyn mines. The Fargo Deep Mine to the south and Jasper Lode Mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. What are you looking for? Be careful. Need help? We were calling salad. Go with honor, friend. Dum de dum dum. The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it, and I'll give you the best price in town. Best price in town. You can find kobolds in the Fargo Deep Mine to the south, and around the Jasper Load Mine to the northeast. You know what, dude? I think if we're gonna play like this, we should just go and get our stuff ready from the get-go. So we're gonna go to Stormwind quickly. We're gonna get a skinning knife. Oh my goodness, my money. It's because we bought a new uh, a new dagger. <clears throat> but I think we're gonna go get a skinning knife. We're gonna go get skinning and leather working. Like obviously we don't need leather working right now, but if we get, like if we get it early, we're gonna start making better gear early. So let's just uh, get our ass into Stormwind. Unfortunately, we got zero bags. That's just my luck. <laughs> We have no money and a dream. That's that's pretty much what it comes down to right now. Can we even afford a skinning knife? Because it would really suck if we... Uh, If you don't make it. I 
That guy looks so weird, actually. I sell only the best gear, tested and true. And the prices are set. So if you want to haggle, then go find a goblin. Can't afford it. See you around. Randall's a bit of a dandy, but he's dependable, which is more than I can say for a lot of the students I take on. Still, I guess I can't blame them for wanting a bit of adventure. I don't get too many Skinners in here looking for training, but I guess I could teach you something if you're ready. I already know a lot about style. Now it's just a matter of mastering the techniques for working with leather. Good thing Simon's a real sport about helping me learn them. So what is the best thing to do? We grind outside of uh, outside Stormwind. I think I saw it was 82 copper, right? can't find on foot they'll get you there fast and maybe show you something new at the same time I'm trying to think what the fastest way would be to make a silver like I honestly think it's just grinding outside or stormwind Getting like 10, 20 ads will give us enough money. We're level 6, so as long as we're beating stuff around our level. Uh, we also got Sinister Strike level 2. And we got Gouge also. So we're level 6. Let's see what we get here. My goodness, dude. His teeth is worth 48 silver. Give me one more tooth, man. One more, quickly. baited us. I thought it was going to be so fast. And now, no, no, not anymore. Come on, dude. Ah. 
<laughs> you know, if I was playing regularly, I would have just asked the soul win for someone for like one silver. This is just absolutely ridiculous, bro. Kill them, they give you one copper. No loot. Nothing, not even one copper. I mean, only humanoids drop money, by the way. got a healing potion. Five. It's worth five copper. Uh, I mean, I feel like we should have enough now. We killed so many enemies already. This guy is not going to tell us anytime soon to grind. Not anymore. Let's try. Here, tested and true. And the prices are set. So if you want to haggle, then go find a goblin. Dude, we destroyed the price, bro. Safe travels. So we got a skinning knife. We have our two professions. I just think it's going to be more power for us. Right? We shouldn't have potion issue, I, I think. I think it's faster to run than swim, so we'll run. Uh, we're not going to train cooking right now, even though we can actually get it. And we can make three meats already. Okay, now we can actually continue on with the quest. Well, it's gonna be a while for us to make a few silver in order to have enough bags. We we're just so unlucky not to get a bag. That's so sad. I'm sorry. But 
Ладно, да пупах. Ладно, да пупах, ты. Twenty six crates already. Hey, we got our first letter. I feel like this is also the last character we create uh, for for WoW. We created so many already. I think this is my third rogue as well. We're just making our way to the quest and killing everything in between that we could skin. Got another tooth, dude. So much money worth. 48 copper. Can't wait to get skinning initially off the ground so this fails would stop. Maybe we should just start doing quests. I feel like we're falling behind. Falling behind what? I'm not too sure. But maybe the XP per hour. Okay. Let's get down, let's get down to business. I lost my necklace and think that gutter snipe Billy McClure took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the McClure vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back for me and you'll warm an old widow's heart. The Brackwells have a prize-winning pig, princess. The sow is huge, and she got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies. So before she comes to our fields, Princess must die. 
Bring me her collar as proof of the deed and I'll give you something for your time. Princess is usually over at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch to the east and beyond the McClure Farm. Get her before she gets hungry and comes back here. Only one copper. Starting to get cloth also. That will be first aid, obviously. Okay, I shouldn't have gone to four combo points. No need for that just yet. We have six slots available. Then our bag is full. Yeah, we're gonna have so much cloth off of this. Almost forgot to skin you, buddy. Goodness. Princess must die. We already accepted that quest. I think we can only do it once we have evasion. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies. So I can't see him, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Please take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He's usually at the river to the west of the Stonefield farm, which is due west of here. Don't tell me what to do, girl. Unless you pay me. Mm-mm-mm. By showing me those nips. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We need uh, one more boar meat. But it's saying I should vendor trash. Oh, we have a vendor somewhere? Oh my goodness. Oh there. Hello. 
Hello, baby. We don't really have much trash. Wow, double miss, triple miss. It's stuff you can't make up, dude. We have so much meat already. We have seven boar meat, seven uh, wolf meat. It's really, really good. Hello. Uh, I can't stand us being apart. I have to see her. Please, adventurer, talk with my grandma. If anyone can find a way to bring me together with Maybell, she can. She's inside our house, east of here. Just reach level seven. It's pretty good, I think. Good day. Though this wild boar meat is tough. Simmer it enough and it sure does make for some tasty pie. Here you go. And when you give this pie to that Billy, you tell him I hope he chokes on it. While our families are feuding, Tommy Joe and Maybell don't have much of a future, but maybe we can get them together for just a little while. Hmm. What can we do? I bet William Pestle has a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Lion's Pride Inn in Goldshire. I think the more I kill now, the less we'll have to kill later. Because I remember I had to farm this so much with the other rogue because the guide said so. So hopefully now we don't have to. Because we farmed a lot of wolf outside. I mean both is kind of needed, right? These guys give cloth to us. Whoa, dude. How often do you parry? Uh, what the heck? Okay, let's just... Uh Go to the vendor again. Because now we're gonna do the mine stuff, I think. Hey there. See you around. Everything else we kind of need.
That's some good damage, bro. Goodness. Now can we repeat that every fight? I'll take it as a no. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Oh, snap. There's two of them. Okay, we'll grab the other entrance then. I think this entrance is anyway closer to... Uh, the guy we want to kill. We pulled three. Two point two. Wonder why it says it's an upgrade. The skinning knife. Does do less DPS. So that's the inspect one done. Double pulled. Easy peasy, baby. I wonder why you get another buff that says never known defeat. There's a dead body here. Uh, there's a level 10 rare. I 
And I don't want to do the rare, that's for sure. It's weird that my other animal's not going crazy. We're struggling with level 5 enemies, dude. There's no way we could do a level 10 rare. Guy's level 8. By the way, he's gonna run around after he gets low. Will 5 come point him? Yeah, I know there's a rare man. I'm not gonna do it. Stop pinging me. It's Okay, so if you didn't do what I did, which was farm like crazy to get gold and then get skinning and stuff, it would tell you to farm literally a half a level, which we're, which is where exactly we are right now on the guide. So we took out literally the farming factor. But we did do like semi our own farm, if that makes sense. Hello. Hey there. Oh, you found it. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Here, take this. It was my husband's and he always said it was lucky. If only he didn't forget it on his last campaign. Asterisk sniff asterisk. Asterisk sniff asterisk. Yeah, poor guy. I forgot about his gloves. And now he's dead. Now he's a goner. What the heck? By the way, if we're gonna do self found, how are we gonna Petri? You won't ever be able to Petri, dude. So, for you guys who don't know what it is, um,. So if you do dungeons on higher levels, you buy a potion that you carry with you. And if really shit hits the fan, what you do is you leave the party and then like a few seconds later, like five seconds later, uh, you just Petri. And what will happen is uh, the game will be like, okay, you left the party and you're inside the dungeon. So we're just going to remove you from the dungeon within a minute. Here is a token from associates of mine. You might find it useful. Useful. Adventurer, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of Eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentlefolk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. Please, Adventurer, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. This is bad news. 
What's next, dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your efforts, adventurer. And hold a moment. I might have another task for you. Thanks to you, we know the Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode Mine. Explore Jasper Lode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north and you'll find the mine in the foothills. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted. But unless I receive a military report of a murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. If you are concerned that the rumors of murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. Bring me his report. You were busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thanks for the candles, adventurer, and here's your reward. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you well. I've packed up the candles, and you can find Morgan in our shop, Pestle's Apothecary, in the Stormwind Trade District. My heart goes out to those two poor souls, Maybell and Tommy Joe. I remember being young and in love once. There must be something I can do to help them. Let me think. I can make an invisibility liquor for Maybell so she can slip away from the McClure Vineyards and go to Tommy Joe. But to make the liquor, I need some crystal kelp. Although the kelp usually grows in the ocean, sometimes murlocs collect it. See if the murlocs near Crystal Lake have any. Crystal Lake is just east of Goldshire. So when sprint, bro. Uh, at level 10. Level 10 we get sprint, deal wield, sap, slice and dice. All four very useful. I'm not going to train backstab because I honestly, I'm not going to use a, so a, a dagger for a long time. It's probably ever. If you play human, you want to play with maces and swords. Um, the increased skill is kind of important. Now we have Eviscerate level 2. Now we do 16 damage. Oh, sorry, on Sinister Strike. 15. It's a little ridiculous, actually. It went from 8, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like almost double. With the same weapon. The cool thing is rogues also train weapons really, really fast. Because you have 20% increased attack speed. Once you slice and dice. Which is... I, Which is, yeah. You have to keep it on 24-7. Oh, there's a murloc running.
I stab you. Dude, we're still on down with the quest. What the heck? Okay, so far so good. Level eight and a quarter. Ooh, lag spike, what the heck? Lag spike in a game. Oh, it's not an upgrade. Lag spike in a game that's like 20 years old. Goodness, how bad is your PC? It might be that I have too much add ons, I think, at the moment. I mean, it's not red yet. Looks okay. Oh, snap. Yeah, I only pulled one. It was close to a three pull. Another shiny red apple. Dude, a seventy five crit. Oh, my goodness. My PP is hard right now. I mean, that was really cool. Another rare, level 10 rare as well. We don't know, dude. I, I'm not a fan of taking on rares anytime soon. Maybe ever throughout this whole series. We'll be weak as hell later. I'm not sure rares can help, but like, is it worth the risk? is already still two levels higher than us. We'll maybe we'll maybe do rares if if we're higher level than the rare. I don't know if it's worth the risk though. That's that's the problem. Dude, 
Dude, 53 without a crit. We're not even level 10 yet. And this with a dagger. 1.5 attack speed. So imagine a slow weapon. Intel buff. The only thing it gives is faster weapon training. <laughs> Literally. Increase the skill of which weapon uh weapon skills improve. <laughs> Thanks for the buff, bro. But I think my daggers is maxed out. We're missing one skill. So every level you go up, you get five extra skill. Kings on. Yes, Murlocs have settled in and around the streams of Eastern Elwyn. We don't know why they are here, but they are aggressive and at least semi-intelligent. A few days ago, we sent two guards, Rolf and Malachi, to investigate along the river, and they have not yet returned. To complete my report, I must know what happened to those men. Travel north along the river and find the guards, or their remains. Hail, adventurer. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive the farther we get from Goldshear, and the Eastvale logging camp suffers nearly constant attacks from wolves and bears. We could use your help out here. I'll help where I can, bro. But only if you pay. Pay up, bitch. Dude, this bear is a level higher than us. So many dodges. Oh my goodness. This is a 5 combo point. 57 without crit. Want to get our food buff again up? Stop giving me scraps, my bro. My goodness. My inventory is full. Oh yeah, I'm looking for wood right now, but we don't have the quest yet. What the heck? I've got a real problem on my hands. I have a deadline looming for an order of lumber and I'm running out of time. The wolves and bears north of here have chased my workers away from the bundles of wood that they've already chopped. I've already talked to Deputy Rayner about clearing the animals, but I need someone to go collect the wood for me. If you could collect eight bundles of wood for me, I might just make my deadline. Safe travels. Uh, let's do some professions a little bit. 
I'll do it off camera. Okay. You need something? Have a good one. Vendor trash, and let's get it. bear off to a great start the first thing we do is <laughs> miss I also enabled level splits in the bottom left it might be a little bit tiny but the reason why wait 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 Maybe we can make it a bit bigger. The options. Mm, make it a bit bigger. There we go. Needs to be just full. Uh, the reason why I do it is because I want to see easy what level I am. Quickly. Then I don't have to open up this to see level 8. You could just see, okay, the timer is still moving for it. I mean, the game wants us to do this, but I don't think I can do it solo. Because they are high level, and they are very hard to deal with. I wouldn't say very hard, but they will respawn before you can actually get the quest. First one went pretty fast. I remember this was a problem with my priest, and my priest did 11 DPS by now, level 9. Yeah, we just can't do this right now, like it's, it's too early. We're just getting absolute spanked. If the warlock goes and do that, then... I would go fight units with him, I guess. Eighty-two crit, dude. That's absolutely insane. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just need to keep my eye on the, uh, my eye on the warlock. See what he's doing. Oh, there he is. I don't know what he's doing, dude. He's farming Murlocs or something. So the only way I can try that quest is if we level up here. That warlock is running for his life, dude. He's clearly doing something he shouldn't. I, I don't know what he's doing. There's no quest there where he is, so... It's very strange. Maybe there's a chest that he's trying to get. What is this warlock doing, dude? You see, some of these murlocs is level 10, which is two levels higher than we. That was one. Look how much damage it did to us. What? It seems somewhat open. Oop. It's a double pull. Wait, it was a body pull, so we can actually split them up. I don't know why it, it's not a body pull. That, that's so weird. That was a body pull. They should have split up.
Dude, he's just killing Murlocs. Like, I wonder if he's just farming cloth or something. Oh, we're done with the, uh, the wood. He's not self-found. I don't know why I'm coming back here the whole time. I can't do it. Like it's that simple. a 200 sword. You can maybe try it with evasion. Sykes, bro. You see, that guy is standing literally on the quest. I don't have kick yet. And look at that. The fucking two that I just killed, they just spawned. You see, this is why I'm saying, like, I can't do this. You, you can't do this quest solo. I'm sorry, but, like, you can't. It, it's just there's too many fucking ads you have to kill. Both of them respawned, both of them. Even at level 10, I just, I don't think it's possible. There's four to five different ads defending that friggin... The hand in. I think the only, the actual only time that you can do it, potentially, maybe, <laughs> is if you're high enough level so that those guys don't aggro when you get close to the quest. Let's see here. Uh, click the corpse on the ground. Two Murlocs in front of the hut. Move away and focus killing one of them. Use ev ev evasion. Once they're both attacking you, this is good opportunity to use bag of numbers. Ah, oh, okay. Run away and uh, reset once you've killed one. 
Okay, but it's still, like... By the time you kill the other one, the, the one that you killed initially spawns. And then, obviously, there's two others rotating in front of it. So, like... You just can't do the quest. <gasps> Got our first bag, baby. No, I just don't have evasion up, so... I think about two more kills. And then we'll get level up anyway. Wait. This is perfect, dude. One kill level up. We're 99%. Look at the look at this, man. What the fuck? We pulled three. So I think we, what we can do is, we pull one, we don't use evasion, I don't think we sh have to. Kill the other one. Okay, we have to use evasion. There's no fucking way. Look at him just chilling there. First try, dude. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy. Oh, yas. We're done with the prowlers, man. We need a bear. There it is. And we're level 9, just like that. That's what I'm talking about. See then. Nice two damage, bro. Don't even have an offhand yet.
Need help? Excellent. Thanks to you, I should be able to complete the order in time. To show my gratitude, I would like to offer some coin as compensation for your troubles. Thank you and farewell. The Defias gang in Northshire wears burlap masks, but the Defias in Elwyn wear linen, which I can use to make fine linen goods. Bring me red linen bandanas, and I'll use them to fashion something for you. Defias gang members have camps pocketed throughout Elwyn. Wonder why this guy doesn't be like, you know, that was a lot of killing you had to do. Just clear your bags. Because now I have to manually look for the person, the vendor. How are you? I'm surviving, I guess. That's how I am. Barely. See you around. Barely surviving, let's be honest. I honestly think I should have uh, played a Warlock, because at level 40 we also get a free mount. What can I do for you? You have confirmed my fears, adventurer. The Murlocs are a threat we cannot ignore. Tell Marshal Dugan of Malachi and Rolf's deaths and report to him that the Murlocs in Eastern Elwyn cannot be contained by our current troop presence. I know we don't have many troops to spare, but hopefully Dugan can find someone. Thanks a lot for the help. Something in the forest must be making these animals so bold. Whatever it is, I hope it stays there. Looks to me you've seen quite a bit of combat in your time, adventurer. If you haven't already, you should report to Brian Stoutmantle. He heads up the people's militia aimed at protecting the farmlands of Westfall. I bet he could use your help. You can usually find him in the stone tower on Sentinel Hill just off the road in the middle of Westfall. What level are these guys? Level 9? Not that much long to go, and then we have deal wield. We're roughly halfway through this level. I would have waited for more health, but this is level 8, so it should be okay. Ow. What the heck?
So it's only the women that kick. The men don't kick. They have respect. You know what I'm saying? Also, they want us to do princess now. I'm pretty scared for that, to be honest. Princess is a three unit kill. back. I guess I do so one pull. How many bananas? We have two out of six only now. Goodness. Just kick me in the mouth, dude. Not this time, son. say not this time I would say not yet that looks split up enough The men does kick. Uh, let me watch the video of this quick. Well, this guy's URL doesn't work. So... Pretty much from my understanding is don't let it charge you. We're gonna try and do it. Fuck it. Don't let it charge you. Make sure they're in front. Cost evasion. Easy, baby. I'm 
I'm too good at video games. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You know, I dodged my eviscerate three times. Three times. What the heck? What? Why do I do, like, no damage? At least that's, that's how it feels like, dude. Eight to nine damage, like what? You kidding me, my buddy? Well, at least the part one is done, and we survived. But I think that's, in my opinion, it's the easiest part. Because by now you shouldn't even have any green items. It's gonna just get harder from here, let's be honest. But we'll see how part one does, guys. Like, if it does well, we'll continue on with the series, obviously. That's pretty much what we do on the channel. Well, ma- uh, these are nice bandanas, if a little rough. Here you are. Oh, it wants us to run to Red Ridge. Yeah, it's Red Ridge and then fly to Stormwind. Yo, it killed critters, and the critters despawned immediately. That's why I killed them, because I thought I'm gonna get more skin. But that's clearly not the case, dude. <laughs> what the heck? Clearly not the case. So the thing is, uh, get the flight point, and then it's gonna be telling us to teleport. Because we have a boatload of quests to hand in here. Level 16. Stay away, you nasty spider.
So naming this series would have been easy. Level 1 to 10. This dead body is still here. Is this guy logged in? Still raging? Bro, it looks like a dwarf. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, a troll. I think it's a troll priest that's laying on the floor. How the heck, bro? Did he get guarded? Looking for something specific? Yeah, these nuts in your chin. I'm sorry, dude. That's why we're still a small channel. These jokes. It's so bad. It's so bad. Where would you like to fly to? I would like to fly to level 10. Hey there, you got them. Good show. Now just one moment while I concoct the potion. You do you, bro. Kings on kobolds at the Jasper Load Mine, you say? Cursed. The situation is worsening by the minute. Thank you for the report, adventurer. But I wish that the news you brought was good news. Hmm, this news is troubling. Already our defenses are stretched thin, and losing Rolf and Malachi to those murlocs put us in an even worse position. If things don't improve, there will be fighting in Goldshire by the week's end. For your shrewdness and valor, I have a marker here that is good for one piece of armor. I want you to take it to Sarah Timberlane at the Eastvale logging camp. Give her the marker, and she will fashion the armor for you. And after you receive it, adventurer, Use it in the defense of Elwyn. The Eastvale logging camp is beyond Guard Thomas's post to the east. The garrison on our western border sends word of increasing knoll and thief activity. They're requesting we send more Stormwind soldiers, but we just don't have any to spare. If you can help, we could use it. Go and speak with Deputy Rayner at the Westbrook garrison and see what he needs done. The garrison is down the road to the west. After you cross the bridge over the small brook, it will be to the right. The badge? Oh, it's nothing, Fish. Nothing you could handle anyhow. By the looks of you, I'd say Matthias is likely to mistake you for the cheese delivery girl instead of a proper rogue. Regardless, I've been assigned a job and I've made a promise to deliver on that job. Speaking of which, deliver this package to Matthias and he may give you a small task or two. Get cracking. Take this invisibility liquor to young Maybell. It should last long enough for her to visit Tommy Joe. There's a dwarven weaponsmith in Stormwind, Grimmond Elmore, who sent word that he needs help with the delivery. I believe he wants a package sent to his homeland in the north. You have a sturdy pair on you, so if you're interested in some legwork, then speak with Grimmond. We could use you down here, but we must also keep our ties strong with the dwarves. You can find Grimmond Elmore at the weapon shop in the dwarven district of Stormwind in the northeast section of town. But that will happen in the next episode, wouldn't it? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just uh, train this. I don't know if we have any first, uh, sorry, any cooking to do. Looks like we have. So I'll do my cooking as well, and then uh, we're gonna end the episode there. So guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day supporting the channel. If you did enjoy part one of the series, make sure that you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, because if you don't, we might not continue on. I'm just saying. It's all in your hands, guys. Do we continue or not? Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.